there are three questions that are asked of me quite frequently. One of them is how do I complete a backsplash in one day? Two, how do I grout silicone rubber? Three, how do I pre-grout pile? Well, this is going to answer all three questions. When you pre-grout in silicone rubber, big advantage to doing backsplashes. Because if you come to a corner, you don't have to cut each tile individually. You can cut all of the tiles at once, a whole sheet of tile through your saw. Second, if you have a wall plug, what you do is use a razor blade to cut out the tiles that don't belong and then you take the strips of tile and run them through the wet saw accordingly to make it accommodate the plug. Now if you're going to do a lot of backsplashes then you might want to do what I do and that's use an angle grinder and cut the hole. I use a Makita with a diamond blade on it. Alrighty. Now we're going to clean up this grout. What I'm using here, liquid dish soap, a small pail of water, and scrubbing pads. This is how you grout in silicone rubber. This is how you pre-grout tile in silicone rubber. When you're through doing your pre-grouting, you want to clean your float immediately. This uh, grouting material is a phenomenal adhesive and if it dries on this float, it'll never come off. So clean your float up. If you're going to pre-grout 20 or 30 sheets of tile, I recommend that you stop about halfway through, clean your float, and then continue. Now over here, I have tile that I pre-grouted yesterday. First, come back over here, let me show you this. This is important. When you finish with the grouting, that adhesive will go through the grout joint ah, and stick to that wood. So you want to move this and break that bond. There we go, we broke the bond. Otherwise, it'll stick on that board and practically never come off. These are the ones I pre-grouted yesterday. You can see where I moved them after I pre-grouted them. Comes off. Now, sometimes you don't move it enough, it gets stuck. Don't tell my wife I took this out of the kitchen. You can take a knife, cut the back, and then it comes off. This is a lot easier to work with than this. Welcome to the 21st century and some high-tech products. Thank you.